how we can create a login and sign up page in MIT App Inventor app. So here we go. So first of all, open the website. Now you can see this is the dashboard. Now click on the new project and you need to put your app name. Okay. So suppose my app name is sign up app and okay. You can add your name, your app name according to your requirement. Now this is our main screen. Okay. Now here we need here multiple screens. Suppose first is our login and sign up screen. And another screen is our dashboard screen. So in the left side, you will see the option of layouts. Click on layouts and just drag and drop the vertical arrangement like this and make this in the right side, you'll see the properties. Make it fill parent and fill parent like this. Cool. Now I'm going to use here some colors. So first let's design something like I need to add here a text box and some buttons. So click on user interface and you will see the option of text box. Just drag and drop it where we can put the username and here's the password text box just drag and drop this where we are, we are going to put the password and I need here two buttons first one is login another button is for sign up cool now you can see click on the vertical arrangement and make all the thing in a center like this and click on the label and just drag and drop one label here and make this something like welcome to TCT like this okay now let's design this okay so how we can do this, so I'm going to just make it like this is 40 or maybe the 30 will be fine and I need one color website. So this website I'm going to use here to get a color okay for my app. So just start click on generation and you can use here the face bar button to generate the color for your app. Okay, so we can generate the multiple color like this. Now I'm going to use this one plate suppose okay, let's try to use this one plate okay I'm going to use that darker one for the background color so click on the vertical arrangement and make the background color something like this okay like this and I need to change the text color to I'm going to make it the white and let's add the button color I'm going to add this button color this one for login so click on the background color custom and add the button color like this Make sure the text should be around 18 like this. Make it for bold and just add it as a, you know, the lock button. Okay. Make sure the width should be around 70% like this. And for the another button is also the 70% or but that text is sign up like this. Third by T and make it for bold and make that width is 70% like this. Now for the another button color, I'm going to use try this one. Let's try this background color. So background color, custom and just add it here like this. Cool. Now I'm going to change the text color of this button to the white. And let's try this also to the white. Cool. Now we have this design, but make sure this text box, I'm going to make that with is also to the 70%. Look cool. And the for a password is also make it 70% like this. I'm going to add one label here between welcome to TCB on the text box to have some space. Okay. If you will use the absolutes, we don't need to add the space like this. Okay. So high days, I'm going to make it 10% like this. So this is our overall app design. Cool. We have login and sign up buttons and we have a welcome to TCB. Now I need to create the another screen for a welcome screen. So I'm going to just make it display none like this and drag and drop another label. So not label, it's a layout. So drag and drop the word color arrangement again and make this width and height is fill parent like this. And here what I'll do here, click on the user interface and just drag and drop the one label and just say here, welcome. And after the welcome, I'm gonna put the name. So suppose the Saurabh login, okay, into this app. So, so welcome to, welcome Saurabh, welcome PCB, welcome Harry, welcome Eile. Like this, I wanna display here. So I need a one value is dynamic. Okay. So how can I do this? So first let's put the welcome like 30. Okay. I'm going to make that background color to something this one. Okay. And uh, not this one. I don't like idly like this one. Okay. So background color. I'm going to make this one like this. And the text color. I'm going to make it the text color will be white. Will be fine. And make the welcome screen should be in a center like this. So welcome and I'm, whenever someone suppose Saurabh logged in, so welcome Saurabh, that will display, okay? I need here one, I'm going to just put here one layout and that is called the horizontal arrangement here. 
and make that with this fill parent and make sure the background color I'm going to make it the none. Okay. And click on user interface and drag and drop here one button and just change that to name text to something logout. Okay. And change the button color to button something to this one. And just make sure the background color just design this like this. When you choose the color plates, you know, uh, like from this or any other websites, so your app definitely will look fantastic, you know, like the school white. I'm going to make it like 16 or 18. Love out this button. Now you can add here a multiple button. Suppose this one is a logout button. This one is profile button. This one is something you can call this as a about button, about us button like this. Okay. And make all these button in a center like this, line horizontal like this. So we have three buttons, so you can add the actions in this button. Okay. So now this is on another screen. Now I'm gonna make it visible off, and make it visible on. Okay. No, not this one. This one always visible on. This one. Okay. Now we need to use the database. When the left side, you will see the storage option. Click on the storage. And from this storage, I'm going to just drag and drop here the TinyDB. That will be used for whenever you try to create the offline app. So that is really very useful. Suppose you created a diary app or something. So it's really very useful. So that is store the data in the mobile itself or the app itself. Okay. So this is the TinyDB. Now go to the block section. So whenever someone click on the sign up button. So sign up button, button name is, let me just check this. So that is the button 2. Okay. So button two, so what you can do here, click on the design and you can rename all these buttons. So button two is sign up button. So sign up BTN. Okay, like this, you can add sign up B BTN like this. Okay, like this, do like this. Now another button is a login button. So you can just say here login underscore BTN like this. Cool. So we have these buttons. Now let's try this one also. Uh, okay, so I'm going to just make it visible on. And you can see the logout button. So I'm going to just make it logout underscore btn like this. Cool. So we have these buttons. Okay. I'm going to just make it visible off for now. Now go to the block. So whenever you in a block section, you know that which one is your login, logout, all these buttons. You can see the sign up button. This one we have like this. Drag and drop this. Okay. Now how we can sign up. So we can see the, there's a tiny DB, this one. So we store, we will store the data. Okay. So he can see the call store value. The tag, tag is something or username. So which is the username? So go to the, again, design, click on that text box one and rename it to as a username underscore text box. Okay. Or you can just define the TV. TV means text box. Okay. And this is the password. So we can just define here the password and the score TB or password TB P password text box like this. Okay. Go to the block. Here you can see we have that text box username TB username text box. So that username text box value as a tag. So set username TV dot text. You will see here the option of text. This one. This is our tag as a username and the value to store. Which value you need to store is a password. So password tv dot text like this. Okay. Now we have the username and password we have stored. Okay. So once the people click on uh, the sign up, so they will uh, you know sign up into our uh, into our app. But how we how they can log in? So we need to check their username exists or password is matching or not. So for that, when someone click on the login button, or once that sign up is done. You can display some message. Suppose click on user interface and just add here label and just done click here. Sign up done or something, anything you can add here. But for now and just sign up done something. Make sure this should be 18 and the text color will be white. Like this. Okay. For now, I'm going to just make it, uh, you know, the text should be nothing. Yeah. Right. Now what I'll do here, go to the block. Whenever this sign up done. So I can display in the label, okay? And which label is this? Okay, again, you can see this is the label four. So I can just add the name as like, uh, you know, the status LBL label, okay? Cool. Go block and you find the status label is this one. Set status label dot text. 
this one. And you can just define the text as like, you know, the as something. Sign up. Done. We have the sign we have done the sign up process. Let's go to the login process. Okay, how we can do this? So it's very simple. When someone click on a login button, we need to check. So I'm gonna use the control if. Okay. So if username. So click on the TinyDV database. You can see get the value. This one. So we need to get a value of tag. So which tag we need to get a value? We need to get a tag of the user text box value. So whenever someone click on the username, so username dot text, you will get it from here. Okay. This one. Tag. And then we need to check that text as a uh, compare this text uh, value. Okay. It's a username value as a password also from the password. Okay. So how we can get it. So we can see I'm going to use the control. Okay. Logic. Yeah. And F. If the TDV get a value of that username text, okay. So suppose the my username is suppose Saurav. So this will fetch the Saurav tag, and the password is suppose I put the one two three four. So he fetch the get value. You can see the value of the tag. So Saurav value is one two three four. So value I need to define. So I need to check that if the password dot dot text is match with the value, then okay, then. That should be a status. I'm gonna just make it here. A status is login done. I, I, I don't think that will display because we need to hide. Okay. So if the password is correct, then we need to do one thing here. Go to the design and we need to hide this vertical arrangement. Okay. So vertical arrangement, I'm gonna hide. Okay. So how we can do this? So vertical arrangement, which one vertical arrangement? Vertical arrangement one. So vertical arrangement one display as visible. This one is false, and the another one is should be true, like this. True, got it, right? So this is done till now. Okay, now once we logged in into the here, but whenever suppose uh, the password is wrong, if it's not match, okay, then else I'm gonna use here else, okay, and the set level is like you can just stay here, wrong username add password like this okay now go to the design and you can see once we have done into we are logged in into this screen we have a logout button so which button is that logout button okay so in that whenever someone click on the logout button this one so we need to again go to the here we are in this screen layer just simply whenever someone click on the logout button like this click on this so we just need to hide the vertical arrangement Okay, this one should be two should be hide, and then one should be visible on. One should be visible on two. That's it. So we have completed. But whenever someone uh, you know go to the here in this screen, so welcome. I need to display some name. So in the label three, I need to display. Okay. So how can I do this? So whenever someone log in, so I'll do one here text join. And label three, this one set label three text. As and the join is something I'm gonna just add here on text is like welcome, welcome, and the another text will be what will be what will be this that will be something username. Okay, so what is the username? The username is from we all know that the username is text box. This okay, so welcome, Saurabh, or welcome, Ali, or welcome, something will display here. I can add here one thing is add a string here between this. To have some space or something like this, okay. So I'm gonna add one space here, like this. Cool. So how we can do this? So I'm gonna just add it this screen to after login like this, okay, like this. Cool. Let me let me show you how this will look. So make sure we need to just hide this one, okay. So let me just hide this first. First of all, that should be visible off, and that should be visible on. Okay, you can see this is our main screen. Okay, now let's try welcome to TCB. So let me just put here the suppose Saurabh. Okay, and the password is suppose 1234. And let's click on the sign up button. You can see sign up done. Now let me just change the username to Saurabh12. Okay, and let's click on the login button. You can see you, wrong username and password. Let me just put Saurabh and the password as it is. Click on login. You can see once we log in, welcome Saurabh. You can see the name here. And here's a logout button, about us and profile button. So this is the overall app that we created.
using the MIT app inventor. So if you have any doubt, you can ask and comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.